Hello, graduate scholars. This is Nicole Schmitz here. And this recording is to teach you how to record your finances so that you are meeting the monthly requirement of documenting all expenses and documenting all revenue received to support your project or program. So let's jump right in here. This is an example budget um, of an actual grant that is ongoing. And what I first want to point out is that there are multiple tabs on this Google Excel sheet. We have the monthly expense and revenue budget tab. We have a new expense tracker, which was built by WMI staff. Likewise, we have a revenue tracker looking almost identical and a categories tab. So at the end of every month, you are required to update the expense tracker and revenue tracker. Let us jump right in and show you how to do this. The first thing to note here is that your document has been built and personalized for your specific project. You will see this drop down arrow, which provides a list of expense categories. These categories were built based upon your monthly expense and revenue budget. So if we open that up, we'll see that this awardee has supplies, um, has rent as an expense, marketing, a bunch of different salaries and utility bills. In addition, this awardee is expecting revenue from these three sources. So that is why they have been built here for documentation. The same goes for the revenue category. When we pull push down here, the drop down appears, we have the three revenue categories. These categories are located here. And should your project have another expense category that's not listed, or should you receive revenue that's not one of the categories that are built, you can add it here. So we will call this an ABC here, ABC here. What we should see now when we go back to the expense tracker is that this is an option. Okay, so that is the expense category, revenue category functions that have been built for you. Now let's document an expense. So this awardee received funds in January and she began working right away. She made a purchase. So we'll write the month here, write the date in which the purchase or the expense was incurred. So we'll say the 15th of January, 2021. We'll use the pull down now to select the expense category. This was an, an equipment purchase. In the description, we're going to write specifically and quantify what was purchased. So one HP laptop for reception use. We'll write the amount of the purchase in the local currency. And then a receipt is needed. So a receipt should have been asked for at the time of the purchase. If you are making purchases in person, you'll get the paper receipt. If it's something you purchased online, you should receive an email or you should take a screenshot of the checkout page and then upload it to your computer put it online, add a link here. So let's walk through the steps for creating a Google receipt link. The first thing you'll need to do is go to your inbox, click on this section here, go to your drive. Okay, I'm in my Google drive, my drive right here. The next thing I'm going to do is click on new, create a folder. 
This folder is going to be called Community Development Grants Receipts. Create the folder. Open the folder. Here is my folder on the Google Drive specifically for receipts. I've already taken a picture with my phone of the receipt for the computer purchase. So I'm going to click, right click on my particular computer. I'm going to choose upload files. These are my downloads. I'm going to locate the file to upload. Google is uploading the file. Okay. Now the file name is, is not very descriptive. So I'm going to rename the file. Once again, I double clicked or right clicked on my computer. I'm going to select rename. And then I'm going to put the date here. So January 15, 2021. And this was a HP computer purchase. Okay. So my receipt is now here in the Google Drive. It up uploaded well. I have titled it to be descriptive and related to the date the purchase was made. I'm then going to get a link. So I need a URL to, to, to grant access to this specific file. So I right clicked or double clicked on my computer. And now I'm going to select get link. Okay, I will copy the link, link copied, press done. I'm going back to my budget, back to my expense tracker. And it's here where I will paste this link. So this here is an example of a perfect expense entry. You have the month, the date, the expense category, notes on what was purchased, the amount and the receipt link. Okay, the one thing that you need to make sure to do at least once is share your Google folder with myself, Nicole, and also Johnson. So you'll be in that folder. You want to click up here on the name of the folder and you want to share the folder, not just the one document, you're sharing the whole folder. You'll then be asked who you want to share it with. In this case, you should write Nicole at wellsmountain.com and also Johnson at wellsmountain.com. Another important factor is choosing the right permissions. It's good to leave us as a viewer or a commenter, editor, it's all okay. In this case, I'm just going to make everyone an editor in case uh, the naming of a file should be updated. Then myself or Johnson can help with that. Okay. And then we will send access to the folder. Perfect. We know that other people have access to this document now. When this icon popped up, it means that other people can view or edit the document. Okay, we just did one entry. It does get easier. It is a process that can be done quickly. So rest assured after you've entered a few, it's possible that you can copy and paste future expenses because they're reoccurring expenses. So let us take a look here after a few months. This is still the expense tracker. After a few months, this awardee has documented um, some reoccurring expenses such as salaries an easy copy and paste, uh, rent, an easy copy and paste. And this is 
an exceptional expense tracker. Uh, all expenses have a link to a receipt. Uh, the descriptions are straightforward. Try to uh, use this as an example for your own project. So I'm going to hide this one because we only have two trackers, an expense tracker and a revenue tracker. Let's look at our expense tracker. So this expense tracker, we've already filled in a few items here. Um, it is the same process as entering an expense. Month, date, pull down revenue category, add one if it's not there, as we did with ABC, write what the expense Descript, excuse me, the revenue description is the amount and add a receipt link. So if there are any questions on this process, I'm very happy to help. If you have any questions, please send an email to Nicole at wellsmountain.com and we will make sure to schedule a time to walk you through this process if needed on your specific uh, budget document.